to some good deeds. Some volunteers are making a difference for families ready to head back to school. Emily Deem is live in Green Bay to explain. Good morning, Em. Rachel, good morning to you. Hi, everyone. For more than 20 years, the Service League of Green Bay has been putting on a back to school store. Now, this is helping families in our area get the much needed supplies they need because, you know, those can add up. So, look at this brand new backpack kids will get with all of those supplies right in there pencils, scissors, glue, everything that they need. Not only do they get that, they get clothes, shoes, jeans, shirts, I mean, everything to get them ready. Crystal Ebel Hair is here with me this morning because, Crystal, you know, it's all of this, but also, they even get a book and how how simple of a book is but it makes a difference yeah I agree with you completely I mean the kids don't necessarily have access to things like this and reading at an early age is so important to them becoming a successful adult and having those reading skills for life and how do you think this story is making a difference for these families well it's it's about hundred and fifty dollars for someone to just go out and buy all the stuff that one kid gets today so you can imagine the impact that would have on a family that's living paycheck to paycheck right and even having something like this a book can really help them maybe at night little downtime and yeah. here's something that they get to be with their kids. Exactly. Reading to your kids and spending quality time together is something that they can get a benefit from out of this store in addition to everything else. Well, it takes a lot of work to put this school on, so it's a lot of volunteers that are coming out here and helping make sure everything goes smoothly. Don and Aaron are here with me. Who are you with? United Healthcare. And this is your first time actually volunteering out here, so tell me why you wanted to. I wanted to see the kids' faces and see the excitement of them being happy to get all these school supplies and kind of make their day. Right. And you were telling me, Don, your work actually gives you a volunteer day just to go out there in the community and help, help give back. Tell me about that. They actually do that with all employees. So we get to pick uh, some kind of community service to go out and help with. Later on today, we'll go, be going to a senior center to help the seniors as well. So. They allow all the employees to take a day off of work and come out and help everybody. And Aaron, what about you wanted the back to school store to be the place where you volunteered? Yeah, I just think it was a good opportunity um, because it can help um, kids. And if you can see here, there's you know hundreds of books. And I think it's just a great opportunity to help people that, that may not get some of the help they need. So. Well, thank you both for volunteering your time out here. The store opens up at about 8, and Crystal, too. Not only do they get the schools, the clothing, the books, but there are some other stuff, even, too, for the parents. Yes, we have a great agency section where we have people come in and provide information to the parents that might help them better their entire family. Uh, things like Literacy Green Bay providing information or Associated Bank giving information on how to start savings accounts. Wow. Just great things that the family can use to make the entire family a little bit happier and more financially stable. Making a difference for these families. Crystal, thanks for being with us this morning. We'll send it back to you, Rachel.